Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about ideal body image and how little that means and what it was like to live in a country where I wasn't considered that ideal body image. Uh, in Germany, I was in Germany for the last year and Germans are, are pretty skinny. And um, there were five of us women who were like, you know, the, the, the competition level women, we got to, to be in the competition class. And I was like, in the hierarchy, I was, you know, number five, five out of five. And it was always indirectly and directly implied that I could be as good as them if I would lose weight. And I knew that if I did try and lose weight, I would probably just end up starving myself for a while and then, and then starting to binge eat all the time. And so I decided my other option was, well, I guess I just, I, I guess I gotta get better without being light. I was, I'd say I was probably on average about 30 pounds heavier than those other four girls. So I worked on my, my strict pull-ups, my, my push-ups, all this body weight stuff. I decided if I wasn't going to be able to be as light as them, I just need to be stronger than them. And so I really worked hard on that. And then the Open came around. And it was us five competing for the top spots, you know. And the very top spot went to this girl, Julie, who ended up making it to regionals. And I got second in the open ahead of all these other girls. And it's not because I was as light as them. I could do muscle ups and they couldn't. I could do more handstand push ups in a shorter time frame than they could. And again, I was heavier than these girls. I wasn't, I didn't have the weight advantage. I, I could do that. I placed the way I did because I got stronger, I got better. And um, let me just add a disclaimer real quick that losing weight isn't bad. You know, I'll always support anyone's effort to lose weight if they think if you're doing it in a healthy way and if, um, if that's what's best for you, like I'll always support that. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't ever use weight as an excuse. Don't let it hold you back because Whatever weight you're at now, even if you want to lose weight, you can be awesome now anyway. I was considered fat in Germany, and I can do muscle-ups, I can do handstand push-ups, and so what I'm saying is that even if you think of yourself as fat or not your ideal weight, there's still nothing stopping you from doing these awesome things. Uh, you can come talk to me if you want to know exactly what I did. I can tell you exactly what I did to get better at these things. And whatever weight you're at, of course it's okay to try and get lighter, get healthier, get just, you know, better, I don't know, all, all, all that kind of stuff. If, if it's good for you, I approve of it. <laughs> and you don't, you don't need my approval. <laughs> but, um, but also be awesome the way you are right now, whatever that is. You can, you can do amazing things and, you know, if a 300 pound person can do more pull-ups in a shorter time frame than a 150 pound person, weight doesn't matter. The 300, per, 300 pound person wins and it really just doesn't matter what you look like at all. So you can do anything, no matter what you look like, no matter what you weigh. And that's all I have for today. Bye. I hope you could hear me over all them. <laughs>